Welcome back into Area News Now Sunrise on this Thursday morning. Uh, the Pennsylvania Department of Education has announced this year's list of their 12 finalists for the Pennsylvania Teacher of the Year Award, and one of them is a science teacher from right here in uh, our area, Mill Creek's McDowell High School. Rob Hodge. Yeah, we welcome you in this morning. You've been teaching at McDowell for 14 years now? Yeah, 14 years. Wow, this is my 14th. What an honor just to be part of this list of finalists. It's really, it's really been an honor. I'm just really uh, proud to be able to represent public education in Pennsylvania and to represent public education in our corner of the state. This I really think that's fantastic. neat. fantastic. Well, talk a little bit about your backstory. Kind of an interesting one to come into the field of education through initially being a, a patent lawyer. Tell us how it all kind of <laughs> came to be and how you wound up here in Northwest PA. Yeah, so great. I actually went, uh, I'm from South Dakota originally and went to the University of Iowa uh, oh, and wow. went to law school there. And I was a patent attorney in Des Moines, Iowa for about seven to eight years uh, and then uh, my wife and I moved here uh, my wife is a professor at Allegheny which was what brought us to this area of the state okay. and I was lucky enough to get a job at McDowell and I've been teaching there ever since I, I became I knew I wanted to become a teacher uh, when we moved uh, I was just really sort of uh, drawn to the idea of helping kids, especially at that age of high schoolers. I really love that age group and helping kids figure out where they're going to go uh, in the next step of their life. Uh, and it's just, it's been a wonderful, wonderful career. So obviously this is a big honor to be on that list of finalists, but what do you get out of your day to day at McDowell? Uh, I get the opportunity to interact with, with kids. Uh, it's t for me, it's all about the relationships we build uh, with one-on-one -on -one, uh, students. There's nothing I value more than that one-on-one -on -one time I get with students every day. It's well, the so, best part of my day. So we, you're in the 12, among the 12 finalists now, how do we find out uh, who's gonna be the big winner and how's that all time out for you? So there's a banquet uh, in Harrisburg in December that where they announced the Teacher of the Year for the 2025 uh, school year. So that's coming up. Uh, between now and then, uh, there's a series of three videos that we make, uh, we submit to the Department of Education. Uh, and then they sort of, they have rubrics that they go through those videos and score those and then they'll announce the uh, Teacher of the Year in Harrisburg. Do you have any inkling on how they found out about you? <laughs> so I was nominated by the district, uh, which is how the process started. And then through that there was a sort of a written uh, essay part portion and then I named, was named a semifinalist from that and then I did an oral interview, which is what I got named the finalist from. So Isn't it great yeah. just to be recognized by your colleagues. It's been it has been a real honor, yes, for sure. Yeah. And we're gonna be rooting for you come December, Rob. And I appreciate in, that. In the meantime, keep doing a great job educating all those uh, Trojans out at Mill Creek's McDowell High School. We certainly <laughs> appreciate your time and again wish you the best. Thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah. you having me here today. Thank I appreciate you. It. All right. Uh,